troubleshooting oil in coolant vertical bar, uncovering hidden culprits for oil contamination in antifreeze. Ever had that horrifying moment when you open your car's coolant reservoir, expecting that fresh antifreeze glow, but instead you're greeted by a murky, oily mess, kind of like expecting a refreshing glass of lemonade and getting a mouthful of olive oil. Well, today we're diving into that oily enigma. Much like a detective hunting for fingerprints at a crime scene, the culprits behind oil contamination in antifreeze can be sneaky and challenging to pinpoint. But fear not, for many a vehicle, including that troublesome Volkswagen with its flickering coolant light, has given us some prime suspects. So buckle up, we're about to roll up our sleeves and deep dive into the mysterious world of automotive alchemy, where oil meets coolant and mischief ensues. Greetings, auto enthusiasts. Welcome back to Car Computer Exchange, the hub for all things vehicular and occasionally mysterious. Today we're diving into the world of cheap, fun, and reliable wheels. Ever wondered why some car issues feel like a thrilling detective chase? Today, we're turning automotive detectives and the case on our hands, the mysterious oil in the coolant saga. Whether you're a seasoned car lover or just curious about what's making your car act all funky, you're in for a ride. So fasten your seatbelts because we're about to troubleshoot one of the most puzzling vehicular mysteries, oil in the coolant. And trust me, it's more fascinating than it sounds. Picture this, a glass of layered drink, shimmering colors that refuse to mingle. Intriguing at a bar, but in your car, it's a red flag. Our mechanical tale revolves around oil's unwanted visit to the coolant's turf. The scene is a Volkswagen acting a tad erratic. Think of it like your unreliable bedside lamp with a flickering bulb, a coolant light behaving similarly with a reservoir that looks like a bad mixology experiment. So, what's causing this curious commotion? Initial investigation, seeking the unwanted guest. A car's coolant reservoir isn't a place where murky mysteries should reside. And yet, there it was, a perplexing blend of oil and coolant. Possible suspects? Let's line them up. The oil cooler, that helpful chap that prevents overheating. The oil cooler could be the culprit behind the strange mixture in the coolant reservoir. Its malfunction or a leak could lead to oil contaminating the coolant. Another suspect could be a blown head gasket, which can cause oil and coolant to mix. The transmission cooler, working overtime to keep temperatures in check. The transmission cooler is another potential suspect for the oil and coolant mixture. If the transmission cooler is damaged or has a leak, it can result in cross-contamination between the oil and coolant systems. Additionally, a faulty radiator could also be to blame as it may have internal cracks or leaks, allowing the oil and coolant to mix together. The notorious head gasket often blamed, but is it always the culprit? While the head gasket is commonly associated with oil and coolant mixing, it may not always be the main cause. Other components such as the transmission cooler or a faulty radiator should also be considered as potential culprits before solely blaming the head gasket. It is important to thoroughly inspect all possible sources of contamination to accurately diagnose the issue. Engine assessment, delving deeper into the mystery. It's no Homesian mystery without checking the nooks and crannies. The engine oil dipstick and transmission fluid aren't just markers, they're informants. Finding antifreeze here would be like stumbling upon a secret diary in a detective novel. But today our Volkswagen's diaries seemed free from scandalous entries, or were they just better hidden? we decided to take a closer look at the radiator and coolant reservoir, hoping to uncover any potential clues. Additionally, we carefully examined the hoses and gaskets for any signs of leakage or damage that could be contributing to the issue. All right, sleuths of the automobile world, pop quiz time. If the oil cooler were a character in a mystery novel, what would its alias be? A, the silent guardian. B, the heatwave hero. C, the engine's enigma. Or D, the oily overlooked. Drop your guesses below and let's see if you've been tuning in to our engine escapade. Oil cooler examination. The oil cooler. If your car was an athlete, consider the oil cooler its personal ice bath, ensuring no overheating muscles, or in this case, engine oil. But just like any superstar, it doesn't want to spill its secrets easily. Diving into its depths, we don't just need a sleuth's intuition, but also the hands of a jeweler. First, a word of caution. Much like approaching a finicky cat, we tread gently. Disconnect those coolant hoses, but with the finesse of someone 
handling their grandmother's precious china. One wrong move, and you might be hearing more than just a hiss. Next, the oil filter tries to steal the spotlight. Think of it as the distracting sidekick in a mystery novel. Yes, it's essential. A guard dog of sorts, but today, it's merely guarding the entrance to our main chamber of secrets. Now the real challenge, the oil cooler itself. Imagine you're in the final round of that game show you love. The clock's ticking, palms sweating, and you're equiped with, wait for it, new nose pliers and a 24 mm dollar socket with a wrench. The oil cooler doesn't give away its tails easily, but with the precision of a master watchmaker and the patience of a monk, its stories, or perhaps its malfunctions, slowly come to light. But what's the shadow in our periphery? The sneaky oil cooler gasket. If this component had a personality, it'd be that quiet character in whodunit movies, often overlooked but with secrets that could twist the tail. Though it may seem minor, many a car's tale of woe can trace their origins back to this tiny traitor. Testing the oil cooler's loyalty involves a sequence straight out of a heist movie. First, we seal it up, like locking a diary. Then, we pressurize it, much like interrogating our prime suspect. Finally, the piece de resistance, the bubble test. If there are bubbles, then a betrayal has been caught. It's like finding fingerprints at the scene of the crime. So as we navigate this mechanical maze, remember, every component has its story, its alibis, and its motives. Some, like our oil cooler, just make us work a little harder for the truth. But isn't that what makes the chase so exhilarating? Other possible culprits, broadening the horizon. Could there be more suspects lurking in the shadows? Enter the CO test, a brilliant device aimed at unmasking a deceitful head gasket. Here's how it works. The CO tester sniffs out combustion gases, and a dramatic fluid color change would be like a confession. Yet, our star Volkswagen kept its colors neutral. But the investigation didn't stop there. The transmission fluid was next under the microscope. If it looked like it partied hard with contaminants, it would imply a traitorous transmission cooler. However, this fluid looked as pristine as morning dew. After this roller coaster of an investigation, the needle of suspicion kept swinging back to the oil cooler. Seemingly innocent, but under fluctuating temperatures, it has been known to double cross. Volkswagens, like our featured vehicle, have a penchant for such antics. Other vehicles, like GMs, have their quirks too. To every automobile enthusiast and weekend garage detective. World of machines, things are not always as they seem. Always be prepared for surprises and keep those investigative tools at hand. Who knows what mystery awaits next in the labyrinth of engines and gears. Until then, keep those questions rolling and gears turning. As we put the brakes on this riveting episode of Automotive Intrigue, remember, the highway of knowledge has many exits, and today's journey was just one pit stop. If you enjoyed our drive down Troubleshooting Lane and want to refuel on more genius car content, gear up to join our Car Computer Exchange crew, smash that subscribe button like it's the gas pedal on an open road, and be the first in line at our next automotive adventure. Till next time, remember, at Car Computer Exchange, we're not just under the hood, we're in your corner. Keep those engines purring and those subscriptions flowing.